Hey, congratulations on becoming a tourist here at the Departures Lounge. Now, in the previous page, in the previous video, I mentioned the differences between uh, a tourist and a smart traveler. So let's go over those. So the smart traveler also gets those uh, scam alerts, the warning and the danger warning boxes uh, that the tourists don't get. But one thing I didn't mention, I don't think, in the previous video is you get my contacts. Now what that means is any time now that I travel and I use a tour company or tour guide or travel agency or anything like this where I find them reputable, honest, all these kinds of things, I note them down and I add them into the members area for the uh, smart travelers and the seasoned travelers. So basically you can go through, okay, CM Reap, oh, you use this company or tour guide, okay, I'll use them too, your choice, you don't have to. But it saves you getting there and going, okay, there's 10 of you, which one's not a scammer? <laughs> you know, there's a lot of scammers out, out there um, throughout Southeast Asia. A lot of honest ones, but it's hard. There's so many of them, you don't know which one is honest and which one's a scam or whatever it is. So that's another huge benefit as, again, if you've been to Southeast Asia, you know how big this is. Very valuable, that point alone. Uh, so I'll be adding all those contact details. Um, another thing, you even get basically my story. Um, I travel so differently now as opposed to you know five or ten years ago. Uh, and I give you a rundown of my story and what changed me and how I travel now and how I save money or how I get more out of my travels. I, from now, how I travel now to how I traveled you know ten years ago is like total difference. I spend when I'm when I'm overseas traveling. I am with locals about ninety percent of the time now. Now I'm not on my own or with all other tourists. I avoid them, um, and you'll see why in my story. And I challenge you to to sort of travel the same way. Do some of the things that I do to enhance my experience when I travel. Uh, so you get all that, which I think is very valuable. I get a lot more out of my travels now following these things than what I did 10 years ago. Uh, you also can contact me actually. Uh, as a tourist, you don't get that personal question time. Uh, there's just too many people, so I want to keep it for the special people, you know, an extra service basically. So if you have a personal question, a cultural question or a religious question, ask me, I'll give you the answer. You know, we had one member ask, oh, I'm going to Indonesia. It's a Muslim country. I have a big Christian cross tattooed on my calf. Will I offend people? Good question. Bang. So I answered. So, you know, even that could be very valuable. So anyway, uh, below this video, you'll see a table, a comparison between tourist and smart traveler. Below that, you'll see the big button to click. If you want to upgrade, it's optional. Um, it'll take you to a PayPal registration, do the upgrade. And then as soon as you finish that, it'll take you to the uh, members area where you're, you're off and running. Uh, and if you don't want to upgrade, that's fine. There's a link below that, say no, take me to the members area and that's it. Uh, this upgrade option isn't in your uh, members area. So if you click no and you get to your members area, this option has gone, okay? So just to let you know that. From the members area, if you say no, you can only upgrade to Season Traveler. There's not an upgrade for uh, Tourist 2 smart traveler in there just to let you know that from time to time we enable it but generally speaking it's not there so take your time go through go through the table below and click the button hopefully and i'll see you in the departures lounge